How many people have seen this show? Has anyone seen this show? Oh, thank you. Right. Thank you, guys. I watched it, and I was fascinated by it, and I wanted to meet you because I thank think it's, it's such an inspirational story of, of be becoming somebody as, as important and powerful as, as you are um, and coming from a place where you didn't have that power and you didn't have the ability to, to make choices like that. Um, and I should point out, this does not represent all Orthodox Jewish families. Not even remote. Families. Okay, I want to point that out. But um, explain your community experience, where what happened with you. So I grew up in a world where men and women have very different roles. And those roles are defined from the second you're born. A woman's role is to be a wife and a mother, to help her husband achieve greatness, to raise sons who will become great, and have daughters who will, by proxy, achieve greatness through some man. Uh, and as you can tell, my personality is not a behind-the-scenes kind of personality. And you know, you're not allowed to dance in front of men because a man might have bad thoughts. You're not allowed to sing in front of man because a man might have bad thoughts. You can't wear pants because a man might have bad thoughts. So basically, your life is governed by these modesty laws so that men should never have to control themselves. Wow. Uh, men have bad thoughts when women wear pants? Shocking. <laughs> That's crazy. I hadn't had that experience. You know, honestly, I um, haven't even... <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you were married to a man that you didn't choose. That... I, I met him for a very short time before my wedding, a few hours, honestly. Um, he's a lovely person. I think he's as much of a victim as the system as I was. And there are fundamentalist laws that need to go. Yeah, well, fundamentalism in, in any, 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 any extreme is not good. That's it. Any extreme. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, exactly. so you were not allowed to watch TV, and yet you watched this show? Not, wait, I have to tell you this story. So I had to sign a piece of paper before my kids were allowed into a school stating that I didn't have a television or, you know, a computer, internet in my home. Your kids wouldn't be allowed into school without that. I lied. And um, the first show that I watched was the first, it was like eight years before I left, I started preparing for my escape. And the first show that I watched was Sex and the City. That's quite a show. That was quite a show. I literally mind blown. And then I came across your show. And here you were, this incredibly powerful, brilliant woman sharing her truth with the world. And I literally was awestruck, awestruck. I, it gave me, I, I, I'm, oh gosh, I'm gonna get emotional now. Um, it gave me courage and it gave me so much strength to see that there is a world where women don't have to be behind the scenes, where they don't have to be demure or quiet, where they're not told that clothing is there to cover or conceal. And you gave me so much courage. Wow, I'm so happy I could do that. Because look at you now. I was really impressed by you. Wow. Because now you are the, the founder and CEO of, explain what you do now, because you, you started designing Thank shoes. So I, when I left my community, I first started off uh, designing shoes. Honestly, I'm five feet tall. I have a size four shoe. And I've loved fashion my entire life. So that seemed very natural to me. But through all the things I've done, and especially what I'm doing now with Elite World Group, what we're doing is, when I came on board, the only reason I decided to take over the company and become CEO is I realized that today, the talent, they're the media, right? You have the voice, you have the audience. And so that's this massive shift in the power dynamic. It's not about women standing and waiting in line for some guy to choose that. It's about taking their destiny in their own hands utilizing their, not just what they look like, but who they are, what they believe in, what makes them extraordinary and unique, showing that directly to the world and utilizing that to build themselves into brands and careers. That's freedom. Yep. And that's what I, that why I do what I do every day. It's so great. All right, unfortunately, we have to take a break, uh, but more with Julia after this. We'll be back. We're back uh, with the star of My Unorthodox Life. This is Julia Hart. And uh, what made you, okay, so you, you would achieve all this and w w then you think I'm gonna do a reality show on Netflix. <laughs> so, you know, it took me eight years to tell my story. But I thought, you know, I've met women from all over the world and whereas their lives may not be exactly similar to mine, there's so many women 
who have been told they're less than, that they have to wait their turn, that they have to be polite. And I thought, here's a story about a crazy woman who picked herself up at 43 and changed everything about her life. And I hope that it gives inspiration and courage to others to do the same. Yep, yep, me too, me too. I mean, the fact that you started your, your brand new life and brand new career at 43, I started this talk show at 45. I mean, you can wow. do anything you want. Yes, you you don't have to, you know, you don't, there's no expiration date on, on new ideas. Um, you. And you have an exciting announcement to make. I do indeed. So, we got season two. <laughs> it's so fantastic. I can't wait to see it. Thank you so much. Thanks for being Thank here. Thank you so much for having me. You can watch the entire first season of My Unorthodox Life now on Netflix.